Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero HD Remaster. This is episode 8. Last time, we activated the observatory, which led us to a new outdoor area. We fought a giant bat inside of a chapel. And then we took an elevator to another new area. Resident Evil we also did a bunch Zero. of inventory management that wasn't too exciting. But uh, now we get to start exploring this new area. Which will be quite a bit bigger than the two rooms of the chapel. Yep, and there we go. We got a new message. I guess those are based on where you save. Alright. So we've got all our stuff here. And we're going to need to do a little shuffling to actually pick up the stuff we want. Alright. I guess Billy's going to be our mule since he's got the free space. Uh, we're going to need the grappling hook because there's a hole in this room and it's the only way to go. Or that. What does Rebecca have on her? I guess we'll take the Molotovs. Since we're gonna be split up here for a little bit. And that should be good for now. Let's send Billy up the hole. I'll check it out. And we can't get back down, so we're kind of stuck up here until we find another path. Oh, I want that note on the chair. We got a hint for some sort of password, but it's not really relevant to us at the moment. We're going to leave this gasoline here. We don't need it right now. And we don't have the space to carry it around. Oh god, Leech Man. Let's go. <laughs> Take this map. He shouldn't be too much trouble to deal with when we come back, though, because he didn't have time to transform. And we got a button here. Let's just press it. Which lets out a second leech man. However, he's below us, so he can't actually do anything here, despite the dramatic music. But he's gonna be Rebecca's problem eventually. Another gas can. And a tram of some sort that we can't reach. So we're going to leave the grappling hook here, because we are going to need to come back later. Actually, there was enough stuff in that room to make a Molotov, but we could have made more. Looks like somebody's playing dead. Hmm. Not this other guy, though. 
bioorganic fluid. I don't think that's a real thing. Ah, got too close. Well, let's give him the stomps. Now Marcus is maybe a little unduly attached to his leeches, but obviously that was our hint for the door code based on his children. And in case you couldn't figure that out, they outlined it in colors. And we have some more of these canisters. Now, we saw one of these in the training facility, but I didn't actually do what you're supposed to do with it. Uh, where it says you need a container to carry it, that's actually Rebecca's mixing kit. And the green chemical we saw previously, you can actually just use it the same way you would a blue herb to cure poison. But uh, there's also a note we picked up that'll tell us what these various chemicals actually do. Uh, which way did we come in? The other way. This area is also not very big, but it does lead into another area. As you would expect. And we found the other end of that little dumbwaiter by Rebecca. Too much damage there. Another first aid spray, but we, again, don't really need that yet. We still have a couple healing items left over from the last area. So we'll need some kind of shaped key. Here's another canister of green chemical. In addition to using it to cure poison, you can also use the green chemical to mix with other chemicals to make other stuff. I don't know if this investigator is someone else, or they're just one of the Umbrella team that was sent here before the train incident to reopen the facility. You know, like these guys here in their hazmat suits. Well, there's not much else we can do right now that doesn't require us to murder a leech man. So I guess we should probably get that out of the way.
Hopefully we can use this herb to top off our health. Once I didn't get hit immediately after the second throw. <laughs> Billy's got such a long wind up animation to pull up the next one before you can move again. Now, if these were human specimens infected with the T virus or progenitor, They'd likely just be zombies, wouldn't they? Unless they're, you know, building blocks towards the tyrant. Also, there's a cleverly hidden bottle right here. And guess what? We can make even more Molotovs. Guess we didn't need to top off our health after all. Alright, so the reason we wanted to fight this guy is because there's an item back here we're gonna need. So there's a leech specimen in this capsule, and as we read on one of the notes we found earlier, we're going to need some sort of stripping agent to get that lid off. And to make that stripping agent, we're going to need to use the chemicals lying around here. So let's send this down to Rebecca, because Billy can't do anything with it. She must be pretty bored by now. So let's double check our notes here for that one we found just back in the training facility that mentions how to make stripping agent. I think these are all from train. No, that's just the entry code. Just want to go Wesker and Birkin. You know, I might have actually not picked that note up. Oh well, it's fine. I think it's red and blue chemicals we need. Neither of which do anything on their own. So of course Rebecca is going to need to deal with her leech man, and our best option is to use the incendiary- sorry, napalm grenades.
The problem, though, is he's around this corner, so we have to wait for him to pop around. And I miss completely. And that was almost all our ammo. I've got a red chemical here. Put that in the mixing chemical set. Oh, that's our costume thing. another one of these doors with another leech shaped hole in it so obviously we know what we're going to need that for but uh, I don't know what we're supposed to do about the stripping agent here because Rebecca can't get up to where Billy is and he Billy can't take the chemicals I believe uh, by this point I would have normally already had a chemical in my mixing set. Hmm. We may need to actually backtrack some. Hmm, let's see what we have for our options here. So those two doors are locked. And Billy's path is locked as well. Hmm. Well, this could be a problem. It's not like I can have Rebecca send her mixing set up. Because, yeah, all we need is this chemical here. We also can't send the hookshot down to Rebecca and have her just come up here because it won't fit in the dumbwaiter. We can't put any two slot items in there. Yeah, we can't get down there. <laughs> can't just break this window either and get through into that room. So uh, we might be in a bit of trouble right now. So I'll have to figure this out. Hold on. Well. Now I've made an evil mistake of my own because uh, I didn't bring the green chemical like I normally would. So now we're going to have to backtrack into the training facility to get it. So much for all the inventory management. But uh, yeah, normally I would have... Oh, jeez, they're in here too. Normally I would have grabbed a green uh, chemical while we were here. And not used it at all. So uh, I'm sure this is going to go great. Because the place is full of eliminators. So we need to get back to... The hallway where that office is that has the chess pieces, which is upstairs. If 
This also might be our first death here because we're going to have to get past those two eliminators again to get out of here. And I did clean this place out pretty thoroughly of healing items. Unless there's still someone here in the corner. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright, where was that hallway? Uh, yeah, okay. It's this one here. Thankfully, we did clean out most of the enemies, so aside from the new eliminators... Oh, jeez, they're in here too. Okay, this I didn't plan for, so now we're fucked. Because <laughs> I can't even get past them in this hallway. Yep. So this one's actually a pretty big mistake, it turns out. I didn't realize how many eliminators there are in this facility. Alright, so I got the stripping agent. Which gives us the leech charm. Which is now useless to us because <laughs> we're not going to make it back. But that's okay. I can do this again off camera. Just wanted to see our little adventure here. So I guess I'll be our first death for this. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I almost thought we'd deke him. <laughs> so, pro tip. Don't forget the green chemical if you're going to send Billy up. Really, I could have just sent Rebecca up and it would have solved the problem. Assuming I had the red chemical. But, uh, yeah, that was a fuck up on my part. Apologies for that. But let's continue. And we're back. Since we died, we've solved our little problem by setting Rebecca upstairs instead of Billy. And as you can see here, I've decided that since we died, I'd switch us out to one of my favorite of the kind of extra costumes that this comes with or is DLC for this. All of those costumes that weren't in the original RE0 release are actually based on various costumes Rebecca's had in other RE games. So this one is from... Resident Evil Director's Cut, if you play on a range mode, this is the outfit she has. Like the sort of, the extra mode that shuffles where all the items are. And it gives you this different costume from Rebecca, which is mostly just her regular costume, but switched to red, and she's got, I guess, Claire Redfield's kind of pants? The short, biker shorts plus spats, I think those are called. But other than that, it's mostly the same. Anyhow, enough about uh, Resident Evil fashion. Let's head over to Billy and actually make some progress here. So, as I said, I sent Rebecca up so she could get the stripping agent. And send Billy down this leech. And we didn't have to deal with any eliminators to do that. However, because we died, Billy's going to need to deal with that leech man in the hallway again. But otherwise, we're pretty much exactly where we were. I'm so glad we did all that in inventory moving last episode, because it would have been a pain to have to redo that. Well, that time he took five shots. I mean, I fired all six, but the first one hit the wall. Oh, that was a bit of a waste, but he's dead. And we can use our blue leech charm on this door. However, there is another one of these doors upstairs that requires a green leech charm. So we're going to need to find that down here and pass it back up to Rebecca. We can 
probably switch back to our shotgun since we used all our grenades. This room also looks fairly similar to a room from the Spencer Mansion, but I think I'm just saying that because of the tank. And it reminds me of the... There's a room with like a fish tank, and you have to do a little puzzle with fishing lures. Sure, we'll take this. Don't know what it's for. So there's a little picture of James. Who looks a lot like our Castlevania villain. Also, it's funny that this is clearly a picture of a bunch of real people with a 3D character placed in the back who's very tall, it looks like. Or those guys are really short because the leech men aren't all that tall. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son or grandson. Brilliant deduction, Billy. I like this, like, half skeleton on the shelf. Didn't have room for a full skeleton, so we just took the legs off. And because this is an umbrella place, that's probably just a real skeleton. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, you're allowed to own actual skeletons for medical reasons. If you're in some sort of profession. Alright, let's just, uh, hmm. Now let's just leave that there for now. We're gonna need the space. We don't need the ammo, though. Since, uh, Rebecca... Well, I guess Rebecca doesn't have the pistol either. The pistol's just sitting on the floor. Oh, no, that's not right. Never mind. I did give her the pistol. So we'll have to come back for that later. The fact that that still works so consistently makes it all the more frustrating when it doesn't work. Where a point blast shotgun blast doesn't. Point blast. Point blank shotgun blast doesn't just take their head off. Because if I remember correctly, in the old Resident Evil games, it never failed if they were close. But here, sometimes it'll just stagger them instead of killing them. So there's our green leech charm. Not really much uh, back here. This part's a bit of an unnecessary pain, really. Again, it seems like just another case where they wanted to come up with a puzzle that required your characters to do something in tandem. In this, clay, in this case, they have to, you know, swap items to get through until we can meet up again. Well, we know what the combination is to that, thanks to the notes we found. But, we need the dial before we can enter it. However, if we look at the map here, we can see that that room links up with the room we've already been in upstairs, where the tram is. So that's where we're going to likely meet up with Rebecca, considering there is a ladder and a grapple point. So, we're going to start leaving uh, anything we don't immediately need in this hallway. And we won't need the ammo because we've pretty much cleared out this floor. And hey, guess what? We get to do some more inventory shuffling soon. That's uh, unfortunately something we'll have to do... Um, about a handful more times throughout the game. I will say this... This game has a lot more small areas compared to the first Resident Evil, which was just kind of three rather, well, three rather large areas, or four if you want to count the caves as a separate area. I guess the caves were fairly large too, at least in the remake. Alright, so we've sent that up to Rebecca, and that just leaves us with a bunch of free space, so let's start moving this stuff while we do that. This is 
is all stuff we're going to want to load onto the tram with us when we leave. I'm debating just leaving the Samurai Edge. We don't really need it. Again, we've been pretty much just going with one person shotgun, one person pistol. And I can't really think of a situation where we're going to need just two pistols. So we might just leave it behind. And again, with the custom parts and the extra headshot chance, there's not really a reason to use it over our other pistol. It's almost a waste of ammo just to fire through it. quite sound like a walking zombie, because it is a very bedraggled corpse on the floor. But, oh. oh shit, I walked right into him. That actually kind of looks like Wesker. I mean, maybe it's just the, the tactical gear and the blonde hair. Alright, some more handgun ammo. Um, does anyone see a problem with this, uh, the perspective on this corpse in a body bag here? That kind of just looks like a torso or, you know, it's a body from the waist down stuffed into an entire body bag. Those are some very large legs or a very small body bag. Anyhow, what we need from here is this. Because if you remember, there is that little octagon, octagonal, octagonal, octagonal. Octagonal. You know, it's full of octagons. And that's really all we need from the morgue here. They look like they're used to stay or dead bodies. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure Rebecca is supposed to also be kind of a forensics person for stars, but, you know, she doesn't really recognize what a morgue looks like. She's still in training. I just assume that because it's a it's a periverse thing that Rebecca is kind of forensics and whatnot, but that seems like something that would make sense because, again, not really sure a special forces team would need a medic most of the time. Uh, we don't need to send anything down. Yeah, we just need to go back. Something that did happen off camera that didn't happen the first time was the the zombie that was in that room downstairs where Billy is attacked him while I was uh, up here so I got the the radio call for help and I don't know why that didn't trigger last time I think he's supposed to get up once you get the stripping agent onto the leech I guess because we were all the way back in the uh, training facility that didn't happen so the sterilizing agent should clear out the gas And I guess it worked. Zombies. That faster fire rate is really what makes this gun so much better. Like, there's pretty much no chance for a zombie to get close enough to grab you unless they're right next to you when they get up. Oh good, this gives us the breeding room key, where all the breeding happens. Oh, you know, that that actually might be a problem for us now that I think about it. I might have forgot about that room, and uh, hmm, that could be trouble. Let's see here. Yeah. That's the room I thought it was. Oh, that's gonna suck. 
basically I should have probably given Rebecca the grenade launcher. Is what I'm gonna say. Hmm. Well, since I didn't give her the grenade launcher, we're going to have to uh, snag some health here, just in case. Drop off our gas while we're here. Actually, we can drop the Molotov, too. We don't need that right now. I think we've dealt with all the leech men around here. We're gonna be extra cautious. I think this room always catches me off guard too. I always forget that there's one more room with uh, some danger in it. Alright, let's go into the breeding room. It's a pretty sturdy looking door. Yep, there are two hunters in this room, and an item we need, so we're going to have to get past them without taking too many hits. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I fucking hate hunters. Alright, we got the dial. There's also a note in here that I'm going to try to grab. Come on, Rebecca. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> wow, she actually ducked under that claw. This basically just goes through the effects of the virus on various species groups. Basically, bugs really only get bigger, which is pretty in line with what we've seen so far, with Centurion and the Plague Crawlers and whatnot. Okay, we didn't take too many hits. I'm astounded that that grabbing that note actually saved me from a hit. And we have no reason to go back in there ever, so, you know, worked out for the best. But that note pretty much states something that people love to bring up when uh, talking about the plot of Resident Evil, which is that B.O.W.s don't really make sense because, again, there's no real way to control them, you know? With a gun, you can point it at somebody and pull the trigger. With a B.O.W., you just sort of drop it in the general area and hope that it kills whoever you want it to kill and doesn't come after you afterwards. And they say that it requires a human subject as the basis for, you know, making any sort of intelligent B.O.W., which would eventually lead to the tyrant stuff. Because obviously a basic human just infected with the virus becomes a zombie, but with more work, you can do some other things. For example, the hunters are actually reptile DNA and a T-virus injected into a human embryo. So they are human-based as well, and they are one of, considered one of the more effective BOWs in that they're a little intelligent. I mean, by the time of Code Veronica, what... Wesker straight up has a squad of hunters helping him out with fancy little cameras attached to them. And if I remember correctly, the hunters are actually one of Wesker's creations. You know, when he was a scientist and not just uh, some paramilitary guy. Alright. So we sent the dial down to Billy. Mm, I think we should be able to grab what's in there without having to drop everything. I will have to go back for the grenade launcher, though. That is definitely something we don't want to leave behind.
gonna make an executive decision and say fuck the handgun. I've brought it with me in previous playthroughs, and it really is just taking up a, sp a space and requiring me to carry around more stuff. Goodbye. Sorry, Kendo. Leaving your custom work behind. The Rebecca this still does have her samurai edge once you get to remake, so... I guess it works out in the end. Alright, slap this dial on the door. But we don't have the combination, or rather, we do have the combination, but we'll have to look it up in our files. So there was a note that mentioned, of course, that the code had been changed to a series of important dates for the for Marcus's children, and we found out that Marcus's children are just the leeches. So let's read this very obvious hint here. Alright, so the first number is 4, the second number is 8, third number is 6, and then 3. So 4, 8, 6, 3. To make it even more obvious, they color-coded them for which one's adding and which one's subtracting. Also, unlike a real combination lock, you don't have to do this in a certain direction. Like, we don't have to go right and then left and then right. It's just... And since that leaves us with two slots, we'll grab the grenade launcher as well. Where did I leave that? Oh, hidden in the corner here. I think we'll do some off-camera inventory management just to round up all this stuff we left around. I could use this. Rebecca here. Over. Billy, I found something here that might make you happy. It's an aerial cable car. Really? That's great. Now we can get out. Yep, let's regroup as soon as possible. Over. Roger. Billy, you know I'm standing right above you, right? She's just up on that balcony there above us. So, I guess it's not a tram, it's a cable car, but, you know, same principle. It is a train-like vessel that'll get us out of here. It doesn't have any power, though, right now. But we did find some sort of power input device that we'll need to put in somewhere. There's another item here. So let us drop the grenade launcher for now. Drop the gas. This is just stuff so I don't have to move it here later. We're going to need this, however. An output regulator. Because we also found the input regulator. And yeah, now we're finally connected to Rebecca. We can get up this ladder. This way. Okay. And we'll just need to consolidate all our items into this room and find a way into this room. However, we did see on the map that there was a grapple point in here, so I think we can figure out how to get in there. But that'll have to wait for next time, because that'll do it for episode 8 of Let's Play Resident Evil Zero HD Remaster. I guess this whole time I could have just been calling it Resident Evil Zero HD, but whatever.
Not quite as confusing as the PC re-release of Resident Evil HD. Resident Evil Remake HD Remaster, which is both a remake and a remaster. Both terms actually correctly apply. People often use remake instead of remaster when it really is just a remaster. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, this is Billy and Rebecca, and I will see you next time while we get out of this wherever exactly we are right now. What does the map call it? The laboratory. Not much of a laboratory, really, but... Anyhow, you folks take care.